Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Carried to His Sanctuary. And our scripture is Exodus chapter 15, where Moses and the children of Israel have just been rescued by God from the pursuing Egyptians. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord, glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders? You raised your right hand, and the earth swallowed our enemies. With your unfailing love, you lead the people you have redeemed. In your might, you guide them to your sacred home. The peoples hear and tremble. Anguish grips those who live in Philistia. The leaders of Edom are terrified. The nobles of Moab tremble. All who live in Canaan melt away. Terror and dread fall upon them. The power of your arm makes them lifeless as stone until your people pass by, O Lord, until the people you purchased pass by. You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain, the place, O Lord, reserved for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. This text is part of the victory song Moses and the Israelites sang after God saved them from the pursuing Egyptian army. Earlier, the former slaves, numbering perhaps 600,000 or more, had left Egypt and were contemplating updating their wills at the edge of the Red Sea. There were impassable mountains to the left and right of them, death by drowning in front of them, and death by Egyptian swords behind them. They were literally between two rocks, a watery grave, and an angry army. One raised staff later, they crossed that sea on dry land, saved by the breath of God. Pharaoh's army, not so blessed. This account of Israel's rescue and open doorway to the promised land is a foretaste of your journey. As Moses and the children were carried by God's loving hand to Canaan, so we are bound for the promised land of New Jerusalem. The world's libraries are full of stories of victory snatched from the jaws of evil and defeat. Every one of them is a reminder of God's strong right arm. The bad guys holding all the power and the innocent ones are about to be toast. At the last second, the one wearing the white hat shows up to rescue the powerless. Why, do you suppose, that plot is so familiar? Why is every suspense movie built around the sinister plans of a despicably vicious madman? I believe it's God's way of keeping us connected to the world we cannot see. There is and always has been a spiritual war raging for the souls of human beings. Ever since the day Satan walked into God's throne room and laid down the challenge gauntlet over the soul of Job, Satan has craved control of every man, woman, and child. God has offered his strong right hand of support to each of us to resist, and God gives each of us the free will to choose to accept his help or not. For you today, today in some small or large way, a subtle or fully disclosed way, you will face a temptation to step away from God or God's open invitation to his waiting arms. Satan will pave a highway with gold and ease to an eternity of suffering and shame. God will offer you the nail-scarred rough hands of a carpenter's shepherd to lift you over the temptation and carry you all the way to his sanctuary. The words echo eternally. Choose carefully. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.